Magandang buhay! Welcome back to Virtual Class. I'm Teacher Reg, your virtual teacher in Science Grade 4. In today's lesson, you will be learning about the characteristics of different types of soil. Are you ready for a new lesson? Great! Let's get started! At the end of the lesson, you are able to compare and contrast the characteristics of different types of soil. The earth is composed of three parts, namely soil, water, and air, with the interaction of the sun as the main source of energy on earth. Soil is a very important natural resource on earth made up of tiny particles of rocks and decayed plants and animals. It is also contains water and some gases found at the uppermost layer. Soil covers most of the land part of the earth. You find plants, animals, and other organisms on the soil. We live on the soil and it helps us in many ways. Different types of soil have different physical characteristics. Each soil type differs in color, texture, odor, and its ability to hold water. Some soils are good for planting, while others are not. The presence of the different kinds of vegetative plants in a place is an evidence of a good quality of soil in the area or locality. Sometimes, a combination of soil is observed in some areas of the country. Soil has different types. We have clay, loam, and sand. Clay is a soil with particles packed together. It is sticky when wet and has the finest texture. Clay has very fine particles of rocks which hold much water and become very sticky when wet. Loam is a mixture of sand and clay. It contains large amount of decaying plants and animals. It has a fine texture. Loam contains the right mixture of particles, silt, sand, sand and clay. Loam soil can hold enough water and oxygen, which are needed for plant growth. Sand Sand is a soil with coarse and loose particles. Sand contains particles that are coarse than those of clay and loam. It is loose and easy to dig. This soil is not good for growing plants because it cannot hold water well. Water easily passes through between soil particles. However, sand allows air to pass through in between the particles. To further check your comprehension, about our lesson, let's fill in the graphic organizers. Soil is classified as sand, clay, and loam. Sand is characterized by particles are coarse, loose, and easy to dig. Water easily passes through between soil particles. Clay is characterized by Particles are packed together tightly. It is sticky when wet. It has the finest texture. And loam is characterized by It contains the large amount of decaying plants and animals. It has a fine texture. It can hold enough water and oxygen for plant growth. This soil is good for planting.
Now, let's try to answer our exercise 1. Read each item carefully. Then choose the letter of your answer. Are you ready? Now, let's get started! Number 1. Which type of soil is characterized as having the finest particles holding greater amount of water? A. Loam B. Clay C. Sand The correct answer is Letter B. Clay Number 2. Which type of soil is best for planting? A. Loam B. Clay C. Sand And the correct answer is letter A. Loam Number 3. How does each soil types differ? A. Texture B. Color C. Both A and B The correct answer is letter C. Both A and B Number 4. Which type of soil do you usually expect if the community is along the seashore? A. Loam B. Clay C. Sand The correct answer is letter C. Sand Number 5. Why is soil important to living things? A. Forms part of the earth where animals live B. Provides the necessary nutrients needed by plants C. Serves as a place where people live and D. All of the above The correct answer is Letter D. All of the above Did you get the correct answers? Very good! That's all for today. I hope you learned something new today. Anyway,